here courtesy of the new york times about boys wearing summer dresses and it doesn't make sense to me obviously there is a some sort there is a trend obviously going on at the moment right this need to kind of put men or to allow men to kind of put no varnish on wear makeup um wigs you know kind of more feminine out more feminine you would say kind of clothes whether it comes to whether it's skirts dresses um certain lapels on jackets the way trousers fit crop tops blah 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 blah, blah. there's definitely something going on out there right but i think the reason that i find it a little bit you know cringe is the fact that it's kind of forced and it doesn't feel off it doesn't feel congruent to the people who are wearing it. i think this guy's image here this kind of cover image definitely does feel like somebody that would wear a dress day to day it just feels like something a bit natural but i'd say the kid cuddy off white dress that he wore for was it on jimmy fallon or whatever that looked like a bit of a forced thing obviously it was a tribute to kurt cobain but it just didn't look like something that felt comfortable looked comfortable looked chic it didn't really kind of you know look badass in a way that kind of makes any sense it just looked a little bit performative and i think the issue in general obviously this is going to be mostly a conversation that kind of skews mostly towards the kind of um queer side of things i would imagine but i say the most problematic thing about this especially for straight dudes will be the fact that there's no way to make there's no way in a there's no way you can wear a dress and have it somehow be appealing to women that you want to fuck it's just not going to happen in it i would imagine for the most part like girls don't necessarily would necessarily be into a dude that wants to wear dresses because it's not necessarily they're not necessarily sending them the right signals it only kind of works within a quote-unquote queer environment or a sort of more of an alternative um outlook on life kind of environment i would imagine um but again i just feel like some of the celebrities that they've been placing dresses and some of the some of that stuff just feels a little bit forced it feels a little bit calculated and it just loses a bit of the magic right part of the appeal of wearing a dress is the shock factor is the um is just the jarring nature of the kind of you know seeing somebody that's obviously pretty broad and stocky looking you know the beard the tattoos and whatnot the kind of just the, you know the uh, the prehistoric caveman nature of a straight dude wearing a dress kind of just is really appealing and has some validity and weight to it but once you start adding all these sort of weird things and codes and then you try to make it into like a political statement and it's an empowering thing it loses any of its magic it just becomes another performative exercise in my opinion personally um and this again coming from somebody that's a big david bowie fan right coming from somebody that's a very big iggy pop fan i just feel as if like it just doesn't have the same sort of oomph behind it it just feels a little bit like do you know what i mean it's not really that impressive you know what i mean it's not really that impressive it's not really that interesting um and it just feels a little bit try hard but anyways continue your article it's courtesy of new york times boys in their summer dresses written by guy trebe it says it seems fairly unlikely that when erwin shaw wrote the girls in their summer dresses his classic uh pie and to the million of wonderful women around the world drifting along the pavement as warm breezes tugged at their hems he could have envisioned a day when those girls would be likely men sexist dated and as shows um, much antagonized sorry anthropologized 1939 story may be it did lay out the truths about the urban existence and the unalloyed joy of looking those pleasures largely withheld over the last 16 months have returned as we venture from for our caves so delighted surprise of le the least one observer a considerable amount of number of us apparently used the time in confinement to rethink some of our shibotlets having that what that word means about who gets to wear what koa sinclair for instance treated lockdown as a time to experimentation a chance to push a style already liberated from the rigid binary conventions of the realm of next level femininity so there's so there's mx sinclair 26 on a recent warm afternoon sauntering through domino park in williamsburg brooklyn um slick four locked fur four locked curled in an anime flipped inked arms emerging from the sleeves of a sinuous isi miyaki pleated dress i guess it's this person here right that isi miyaki dress will probably look pretty deep on a dude i'm not gonna lie um for the longest time people were stuck on being one way or another mx sinclair said referring to a waning gender dress codes queer people have been playing with this for a long time but now you see a lot of guys in dresses that don't identify as always feminine i don't necessarily see that i don't think that's true i've never really seen a 
lot of guys in dressing. Like my barometer for just what regular guys are into is Shoreditch High Street. I don't think I'm def I don't think I will see a guy on Shoreditch High Street on the pole wearing a dress. If I do, it's gonna be a you know a dab. I'm gonna dab the guy and definitely give him a little high five from afar or from up close or clap or whatever and let him know that he's a boss. But it's very unlikely that you're gonna see a you know a quasi cis. Um, heterosexual male wherever that term is right um donning a dress it just doesn't make any sense for the most part unless there's some sort of artist or something i just don't see it happening it continues here it says you see um hip-hop mc and taste mega asap rocky clad in a vivid westwood kilt which looked really good uh, in my opinion on the cover latest gq you see madonna's 15 year old soccer player son david banda gliding down a long highway hallway saw in a viral video while dressing a white skirt silk left no while dressing a white silk floor length my couture number that he says is so refreeing you see a wave of male teachers in spain come to school wearing skirts to support students expelled from class and forced to seek counseling after wearing one you spot little nas x in the tonight show in a long tartan skirt and manly symbol in scotland though a few places and bad bunny and the grammys in a burberry coat worn over a classic black ricardo tissue tunic resembling a nun's habit you observe on a recent blam and again these people aren't really great examples are in it they're all rock stars and artists in their own mark who kind of get to you know live in a world kind of far away from where we are living they get to live in a reality that they get to construct and you get to do what you want to do basically everything that you do kind of gets excused or explained away in some viral tweet somewhere it continues says the observer on recent blammy on a recent balmy afternoon in washington square park guys dressed v variously in tattered frock reminiscence of the kurt cobain 993 cover of the face a plaid britney spears um schoolgirl mini a cap um sleeve blouse and skirt set also from Isi Miyake, accessorized with black ankle socks and patent leather slug shoes. Um, I started out wearing feminine tops and then feminine boots, says Robert Sal Soluders, a 24-year-old anesthetician who grew up picking coffee beans on a farm in Hawaii, instead of his, his Isi Miyake outfit. Now, honestly, I just shop in women's departments. Yeah, if you've got the size and you're comfortable with that sort of stuff, fair enough, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I just think it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit of a reach. I think most dudes, for the most part, are probably not going to be wearing a, a again, a Kid Cudi dress anytime soon. I just don't think it looks that interesting on Kid Cudi. I think it, I think I've seen Lil Nas X in much better outfits than this. Personally, I also don't think that's interesting. And maybe it might move the needle in media, but I don't think culturally it really moves the needle on the streets. I think if people are comfortable to do such like this, they will end up doing it eventually of their own regard. But I don't, again, I just don't see where the appeal, or where the need, because I think a lot of dudes, I've mentioned it before, when it comes to fashion, mostly, maybe that's why I've always kind of thought of my, thought fashion is more so, for men, for the most part, is mostly a style thing, and less so a quasi fashion, fashion thing, where you just wear stuff for the sake of wearing it. Most dudes that are wearing those massive Joe Budden hats, weren't wearing them because they thought they looked cool, they wore them because most girls probably like those hats too, right? They compliment your hat. So if you're after, you know, if, if you want to hook up with girls randomly, you know, on numerous nights, the best thing to do is kind of to peacock and to wear things that girls would kind of be interested in. Trinkets, whether it's flipping wristbands or, you know, bracelets, rings, tattoos, whatever it can need it, you'll do it. So a lot of the stylistic choices of dudes is mostly informed by, you know whether or not other girls are going to want to fuck them if they wear those things for lack of a better term and until dresses and skirts occupy that kind of level they're never really going to be taken up by straight guys i think obviously the queer side of things is far more interesting you can be a little bit more free you can explore different things you can kind of bend and twist the norms and conventions and you can kind of blur the lines a little bit more freer but again that's the benefit of being queer you get to kind of dabble and kind of experiment and be okay with that sort of stuff and no one really questions you or takes a piss for the most part when you're a straight guy it's a little bit difficult it's a little bit more difficult but again maybe i'm wrong in that regard let me know what you think in the comments down below